Just that GDT because the wood and the GDT itself is uh, being discharged too. So let's see. GDT. Let's see. 
if that gives a better display. Anyway, so it looks like that's a functional form of collector. Um, I'll need to change out the way that's being discharged. Obviously, the GDT is not a real load. It needs to go through an inductance so we can transform it. Um, and I'm only using this side. I'm not using the other side yet. Uh, and these caps are actually not the best. These little blue caps are kind of crap. Um, so those will have to be replaced with uh, at least four, at least four of the. Uh, of the 3300 PF caps, same caps that are used everywhere else. These are all 3300 PF at uh, 16,000 volts. Russians, good caps. It's 3300 PF at 16,000 KB. KB in their case, KB. So 16,000 volts at 3300 PF. So four of those take that 3300 divided by 4, half's 1.6, half of that's uh, 800. That's 800 PF as a final stage. With uh, That's then 4 times 16, so you're 3264,000 volts rated uh, as a collector. So that would be what would swap there. And in theory, actually, in theory, uh, you could probably put multiple leads three or four of these wired up through there uh, on both sides we'll have to see what just the one collector takes it still draws the 120 volts at the two point uh, I guess it's two amps uh, if I make this gap sufficiently wide and it doesn't have the collector then it'll go up to two and a half amps I found and it also won't spark over on the initial discharge in this case it keeps firing on both gaps because this gap is now closed much more. If I widen that up so that it only sparks once and then stops, uh, let's see what happens there. See the behavior difference here, watch. Everything's at over 40,000 volts, and you get a little bit, a little bit of discharge going on there constantly. I'm not sure if that's a 470 volt rated. It's not a 3,000 volt rated GDT. That's not quite as wide. Um, that's not a 470 volt GDT. Just to make sure something marks over in there. And those capacitors are a lot smaller too. I think they're in the PFs. swapped out and verify how it works. It still draws just the same, right? Two amps, 120 volts. And an occasional mass breakover. When you get those good discharges like that, that's when the GDT really lights up.
break over on the transformer secondary leads as well as from the secondary lead to the case. Sometimes it'll break over from uh, from that little crack to the ceramic thing. The ceramic insulator breaks over between those two things. just to build that same extractor but using the big caps and uh, some other means of insulation looks like I might want to build a whole platform out of like Delrin and use uh, tapping mechanisms and nylon screws or some other plastic screws maybe they make Delrin screws too threaded be able to put it together that way now everything's insulated just depends on if the Delrin retains an electric charge because I don't like it shit shocked out of me. As it is, the wood feels like it's supercharged when you get close to it, and it's actually discharging between the bottoms of this coil here that's on the wood through to the bottom parts. It arcs through all of that to get to the GDT. All of that gets arced through. Arcs all the way across. So, uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't have enough capacity to take it from dropping anything back on the main transformers. I'll have to see how to mitigate that.